Yes, guys, welcome down to part two, the four club challenge here at Jumeirah Golf Estates. Four clubs, championship tees, probably the hardest finishing holes in Dubai, maximum length, and I've only got three wood, eight iron, and sand wedge, and a putter to try and navigate myself around. I'm one over par to this point. Let's see how we finish. And I'll just give you a mini spoiler. All four of these last four holes, are pretty awesome if I do say so myself. If you do, if you have enjoyed this video, please hit the like. Please do subscribe to the channel. It makes a massive, massive difference. But for now, kick back, relax, and enjoy. All right, so as you can see, it's pretty self-explanatory. Avoid the bunkers at all costs. Uh, to be fair, even if I do go in them, the, the hole's not that long. That the sandwich will be fine getting out of them. But I just lose a bit of my control, providing I had the control. Right, I'm going down the left. Left side. Play. Ripped. Might need to sit. Right, that was absolutely ripped. Too far. Got 120 to the flag. Well, I've got 100 yards to cover the green side bunker, so I suppose I get over that, hit it as hard as I can, hope the catch down slope, finish close, tap it into birdie. Other than that, I don't know really. I was going to get a clean, pure strike. Don't mind these shots, I'm quite comfortable with my ball striking. Probably going to try and play with a bit of a high draw shot to get that little bit of roll once it lands. Strike, pure. Go, 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 go. I mean, that was pretty awesome, <laughs> if I'm being honest. It's been an amazing time for three one putts in a row. Not the greatest strike in the world. It's a par, it's fine. Still one over, three very hard holes to go. This one is okay, if I can keep the ball down the left side away from the bunkers, it'll give me a second shot in. Yeah, beauty. Perfect shot. All right, guys, so we're going to have to do a little bit of a voiceover for a couple of the holes to finish. I changed my camera. To be honest, I thought I had a better mic in this camera, but clearly not. Anyway, for this particular shot, second shot onto 16. I've got 190 yards to the flag. It's actually 170 to clear the middle bunker, and it's all downhill, downwind. So it's not a difficult shot in terms of my distance I just can't go for the flag because I can't carry the eight iron or can't guarantee I'm going to carry the eight iron 180 yards so what I'm going to be doing is going to be pretty much aiming at the flag to draw it back towards the middle of the green now there is a big slope that could take me down to that bottom tier if I catch that slope it'll be amazing if I slightly overdraw it I'll be in the middle portion of the green which will make the putts a little bit more difficult so let's see how we do all right, so there's the slope I was talking about. If I just catch the other side of that, it just goes down the hill, and then we, and then we're laughing. But it didn't. So here we are, two putts for a par. Okay. So it goes down the hill. It's going to go left to right. It's going to go up the next bit. Go down the next bit and left to right all the way. Get that? Left to right. All the way. Down the hill. Should be quite good. Go on, go on. Have a left, that's sure. Right guys, here we are, probably the hardest hole so far. 201 yards over water, wind in two, and I've only got a three wood or an eight iron. What are we gonna do? Probably has to be the three wood, but we could end up in the water.
don't know where that is to be honest. It's right on line with the flag, so I'm reckoning it's going in the bunker. A little low punchy shot. That was delightful. All right, not the worst distance control overall. Be hard up and down though. You see how hard this shot is. It's a joke. Now um, bringing in the double into play here. They're going to massively open the face as much as they can. Slide across it, slide under it. I do know I'm going to hit the fringe, but I suppose the reality is I'm going to go past the flag and then try and two pull back up the hill. That's the reality. But hey, I'm going to give it as good a go as possible. Not much sand in here, so I'm not going to hit it hard. We don't want to bounce off the ground. I mean, have you seen that shot? Yeah. That deserves to go worldwide. <laughs> <laughs> That feels amazing. Oh, yes, I can't even explain it. No birdie like the group in front, but probably the best part I've ever made in my entire life. All right, so after quite possibly the best part of my entire life, two over, one to play. It's going well. Don't jinx it. Touch wood, touch wood. This is going well so far. Half the finish would be pretty awesome back nine, if I do say so myself. Right, left bunk is just a line of three wood. Is the club, obviously. Now we not so obvious. Missing this ravine now, second shot, basically saves me from double bogey. Not a very negative way of looking at it, I know, but this is a really horrible hole. Unless I really push it, then I can maybe get the other side of the fairway. Lucky boy, I was aiming for the left side of the ravine, not the right side. Lovely angle in though. Stay there, stay there, stay there. I found if that's long or really good. Yeah, you just wait till I get over this hill. I am never using 14 clubs ever again. I'm a four club man. Yep, there it is, that's right. What an enjoyable finish. So, one over par. Wow, that is, uh, that is a surprise. Last three holes actually went much better than expected. Unlucky to really bogey 16, obviously with the three, but 17 was just, just phenomenal. And 18 was probably the best, the best I've ever played hole 18, even though I did hit a big push slice in there as well. So guys, thanks very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. This vlog is kind of post isolation. So I played on my own. I didn't need to use a mask. Rules and regulations say now that this mask is going back on as I head back towards the clubhouse. So everybody, stay safe if you are playing golf. Stick to the rules and regulations. Thank you very much for watching the video. Hope you've enjoyed it. Please do subscribe to the channel and I'll see you again very soon.